hello and welcome to the new look 30 Queen Street. So this is 30 Queen Street in Seaton in Devon, home to Devon Art Supplies, Botanica Gallery and also the Hobby Shop. Out the back there is also the um, on-site studio for myself, Carrie Ann. I just thought I'd give you a quick look around so you can see how different things are now that it is March. So we've actually moved the decker patch over to this side, as you can see. We've um, opened up the front access now, so the papers are easier to get to. The big stand with the rolls has moved, just so it's easier when you come in to see everything that we've got. Crepe paper, tissue paper, parchment, everything really. If I tried to list everything, we'd be here for hours. But I just thought if I gave you a quick tour around. I did clean the windows last Monday, but um, they're already getting a bit dusty. That's what happens in a seaside town. So I'm just going to tour around, but if there is anything that you've got questions about that you spot, do just pop in the comments and I shall I'll do a more detailed video on any particular area. So that's the hobby shop section. That's run by Jonathan Betty. So he's got lots of the Airfix kits, wooden kits, um, the new kits that are called Quick Build as well, similar to sort of a Lego style. And we've created more sort of aisles now, which means that we can see through the whole of the building. Um, as you can see, we've got the art section mainly in the centre. Then we've got this twisty stand here, which has stamps and dies, felting, card making stickers we've got the hemline stand which has all your haberdashery goodies got all the books and stencils coming around to pens pencils calligraphy ink nouveau items fabric paint glass painting, candle making, goes on and on really, there's an awful lot in here, watercolour, acrylic, gouache, all the mediums, so if we come back round here, you'll see that I've actually taken that stand away just to make it a lot easier so you can see through, this section here this will be the next section to disappear. So there is a lot of sale items and bargains to be had here in the children's area. This is actually going this month. Um, so everything that's there is the last of what's going to be there. We will then be moving across the felt and foam, etc. So that it will sort of be incorporated in the other twisty stands and art stands. The beads, they are also going. So this month, they will not be re stocked um, as I say we are aiming more towards the art in the gallery now uh, we're actually making another space for a pop-up art section so obviously the gallery for us is doing amazingly well um, especially the sales of originals prints cards that sort of thing um, and we've just noticed a sort of change really in the need for craft items is reduced but people are loving the art so what we're going to do is this section here is actually going to be changed to um, to house pop-up studio and display space. So anyone that wants to have like a mini pop-up shop, this will be the first section that we create that in. Um, eventually we are going to do that in a sort of a wider way through much more of the shop. But at the moment we've got the little aisles of all the crafty goodies. The music you hear, I do have the rights to play that here. This is um, from a local composer called John Buckley. So anyone worried about the music in the background, needn't be. Okay, so then we head through, that's sort of the bits and bobs stand. That's the other stand I was telling you about um, where all the rolls have moved to. You'll have to ignore the messy coffee area. Oh, we've got some new work in by So Creative Designs with lots of Seaton and Devon based things, tea towels, mugs, etc. We've got the um, cross stitch, the woolen yarn, sewing, 
buttons, beads. And then obviously I'll just have a quick look through to my studio. The daffodils are out, so it's nice and bright. Lots of yellow. The tulips are coming up, see, in the garden. So this is where I do most of my filming. I do use separate videos for studio tours, but I'll just give you a quick look because it is an open studio. People are welcome to come and visit when they're walking in through the shop. I've got some lights up here that I need to put up. I'm going to put those ones up when I get a chance. So just spin round. That's the sort of view that I've got now. So I can actually work in the studio and just literally turn my head and see straight through all the way to the front. And also we've got plants, house plants and succulents and cacti. Um, and then we've got some more artwork and cards. That's all having a big move around soon. So that is due to have a change. And then my little courtyard garden, as I say, the daffs are out, giving it a bit of colour, but it does need a good tidy up. Um, some bits on my desk at the moment, because I need to do some video reviews on some new products I've got my hands on. And then come back through here, you can see all the different yarn types, cottons, wools, etc. So yeah. This is how 30 Queen Street looks in March. It's March 3rd now. Um, as I say, there will be going forward lots more changes happening here as we sort of evolve and change. We're going to be focused mainly on art products going forward with a few crossover products such as the inks and things like that. Um, and we're gonna have a lot more space for sort of local artists. We wanna be known a little bit more for the community arts rather than too much on the craft going forward um, and that's just how we've chosen to evolve really I think a lot of it's down to what my interests are and where my interests lie but also to what the community here in Seaton are mostly interested in obviously we are a business we need to be able to afford to survive and that has meant that um, with less crafters um, in this area and less people coming here for craft products and majority art that's sort of where we've moved to so there will be things like these, powders and inks and things that all crosses over into the art section. Um, so we will continue with those. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed having a little bit of a tour around 30 Queen Street in Seaton. Um, as always, if you've got any questions at all about anything that you've spotted here, do please let us know in the comments. Um, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you have a fantastic day um, and... Um, a great march so we'll, we'll catch up with you again soon we'll do a tour again in april <laughs> i bet it'll be different again because you know what i'm like i'm always moving the shop around so watch out and see if you can spot what's different I might have to do so, sort of like a competition if you can spot what's different you win some sort of award anyway <laughs> um catch you later everyone take care bye